the game Ordo Online. How'd you get it? Ordo is a two-player board game invented by Dieter Stein in 2009. <laughs> there are two variants of the game, Classic Ordo and Ordo X. Um, we're going to play an Ordo X after this, most likely. The so, Ordo is played on a 10 by 8 board. There are two players, light and dark. Uh, initial, initially, each player has 20 checkers of the corresponding color. This is the initial starting position. Ah. The goal of Classic Ordo is to reach the opposite row with one of the player's checkers. The opposite back row, I guess. The opposite row. All right. A player can also win the game by capturing all the opponent's checkers or by breaking the group of opponent's checkers in such a way that the opponent is unable to reconnect their group on the next move. I'm going to read that again. The goal of Class Gordo is to reach the opposite row with one of the player's checkers. A player can also win the game by capturing all the opponent's checkers or by breaking the group of opponent's checkers in a way in such a way that opponent is unable to reconnect their group on the next move. All right, players move alternately, starting with the player controlling the light checkers. During the game, after a player's move, all the player's checkers must be connected, orthogonally or diagonal, in a sole group. If a group's player's checkers is disconnected as a result of a capture made by the opponent, the player must move to reconnect to the group again. If no such move is possible, the player loses the game. There are two kinds of moves, single checker moves and ordo moves. A single checker can move straight forward, diagonally forward, or sideways in a straight line any number of cells, empty cells. It may end the move in an empty cell or a cell occupied by an opponent's checker, which is then captured and removed from the board. The only case when a single checker can move backwards or diagonally backwards is when a group of players' checkers is disconnected they need to reconnect it. Below is an example of possible moves. The order move, a horizontal row of two or more checkers in order, can move forward, and a vertical row of two or more checkers in order can move sideways any number of empty cells. All order's checkers move in parallel directions, the same number of cells, and they may not capture opponent's checkers. The only case when an ordo can move backwards is when a group player's checkers is disconnected and needs to reconnect. All right, so that's ordo. And there's ordo x rules here too, but we'll read that afterwards, or when we play ordo x. So, an ordo move. Ordo can move sideways any number of empty cells. Ordo checkers move in parallel directions, the same number of cells. They may not capture opponent's checkers. Alright, we've played this once before a while ago, so I might as well give it a shot. You have to get to their side or disconnect the player's group. Yeah.
extra copycat over here. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I need to read these rules again. <laughs> Uh, a single chair can move straight forward, diagonally forward, or sideways in a straight line in number cell, any number of empty cells. It may end the move in an empty cell or a cell occupied by opponent's checker, which is then captured and removed from the board. The only case when a single checker can move back. Okay, so only I don't think ordos can capture, but single checkers can capture. That sounds right. That's what looks like here. Sounds right. I finally get myself a haircut this weekend. Did you hear that? Well, I, I need to give myself. I need to finally give myself one this weekend. Not I haven't yet. Saying it's an invalid move for me, I'm wondering why. So it says, okay, so I'm just a single checker can move forward, straight forward, diagonally forward, or sideways in a straight line any number of empty cells. It may end the move in an empty cell or a cell occupied by opponent's checker, which is then captured and removed from the board. So yeah, I was trying to just capture one, move empty cells, and then capture one. And it says inbound move. I think you have to be like next to me already in order to capture. That's not what it shows on the picture. It said it can move straight, yeah, in a straight line any number of empty cells. It may end the move in an empty cell or a cell occupied by opponent's checker. Will it break your formation if you do that? Nope. 
Move in one, one checker or checkers? Just one. Well, then I don't see how it would not break your formation because you'd be in my square. Ah, uh, true. Nice. Good thinking. Just so you. <clears throat> Okay, yeah. So I do I have to be wherever I move, yeah, I have to be connected at the end of the turn. Not quite sure how you did that, but okay. It can move, yeah, it can move any number of cells, empty cells, and my group is still connected.
A No, that shouldn't work. Why can't I? I don't see a way to reconnect it. I wish you would just tell me if I can reconnect it or not. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't see a way for you to reconnect it this time. But there could be. Damn. Nice. I thought it was doing so good, too. I can't I don't currently see a way. Thank you. I just want to move. If you figure out a way, I'll uh, play. I'll see if there is a way because I still don't know. I don't. I, feel, I was trying. I feel like if I just uh, ignored you for a little bit, I could have got one across. Yeah. Well, you did. Thank you. We have uh, other times we've played this before too, so there'll be a playlist. 